All right, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to start up this machine. All right, so there it is. And up here on the controller, there's a green switch. Just hit that green button. And then you need to hurry up and wait. So when you start up, you're gonna see these messages. Servos off. You're gonna see this press emergency stop. So what this is doing, this is testing the function of the e-stop and the chuck guard. So we push that in, red lights on. It's now instructing us, release the emergency stop and it's logged an error here. Okay, e-stop is off. Now it's saying open the door. Now it says close the door. Now you can reset to enable all servos. To reset, you have to push this button twice. The next message or instruction is to power up or zero all axes. Now typically, you would come up to the machine and press the zero return all button. And this particular machine has been configured so that you zero return the X and the Z axes separately. So to do a zero return, we hit zero return we start off with X. You want to zero return the X axis first. Zero return X, and then over here, single. And now you'll see the X axis is zeroing itself out. The beep indicates that it's zeroed, and we've still got this message here. So X is zeroed over here, you can see that the next thing you need to do is press zero return again and then you're going to hit the Z key Z and once again over here hit the single you can see there Z axis is moving Z axis is moving down here okay now it's beeped it's happy. So X and Z are now zeroed and you can see that on this display here. The last thing to zero is the tool post here. Zero return, A, single. At this point if there's no compressed air to the machine you will have a failure. Okay, so that's the machine startup routine finished. The machine's now ready to be moved around and used.